Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can load the, the table data into a flat file that is CSV. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen how we'll be able to load the um, flat file, the .csv or .txt file into a database with a table uh, using Informatica tool. So I'm using Informatica 8.6.1 over here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, as you can see, I've opened the Informatica Power Center designer. Uh, here, uh, my in the source, uh, the you should be going to Oracle because I'm going. My source is going to be a table. I'm going to drag this department table. Before uh, dragging, first you need to create a mapping. So let me name my mapping as something like, um, like um, table to flat file okay um, let it be like okay so I've dragged uh, the department uh, table so here after drag this is my uh, source this is a table so I need to create a, so my target is going to be a flat file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this target designer and uh, let me uh, create um, um, a sample flat file table what you're going to do is go to targets then uh, say create then here you create target table select a database type the select database type you have many informa uh, flat file informix uh, jms all those things our target is going to be a flat file so let me select that and give a name for it so it's going to be department underscore ff okay so create once after creating you can see a flat file is created here you need to mention the columns that is required so edit table just double click on the flat file then in the column section just uh, create three fields uh, we know that our source is having three um, columns so i'm creating three columns in my flat file also let me name this i'll name this first as a department number and it's going to be a uh, decimal so here in informatica uh, instead of decimal it's number then the second uh, field is going to be the department name then third is going to be the location okay so both are strings just uh, say apply and click ok so your flat file um, department flat file is uh, created that's our target is created so now going to the mapping designer again um, now just go to the targets in targets you can see the table that we created the flat file table that we created so it was uh, the department underscore ff right it's here just drag it so it's just a one-to-one -one, uh, mapping i'm not using any transformation in between so uh, i'll just um, you know select all these and link it directly and just save your mapping okay so this is how you need to you know uh, link the uh, source to the target now going to the workflow manager mm, once the workflow manager is um, open just um, say okay here okay let me create a new workflow to create a new workflow just say workflows create so here just give a name for your workflow i'm going to say work underscore something like tab underscore ff okay after this you can see there is a start icon here so i'm going to create a session here just say go to task sorry let me do that once again just go to task and say create and uh, select this as session and uh, give a name to your session so it's going to be m underscore um, tab underscore ff create and uh, we know that our mapping was named as uh, m underscore tab underscore ff underscore one so just say ok done then our session is created just uh, you need to create a link between this uh, workflow right you need to create a link so in just go to task link task then uh, drag it to your session that's it the link is created just save your workflow after this um we know that our target is a flat file so as we did in our um, source in the previous tutorial like we we gave some uh, path 
name in our uh, uh, session by double clicking on sessions here in the mapping section uh, we went to the source and we gave some path in the same way now our target is a flat fill so we need to give this path name where you want the csv or the txt file to be created so i have uh, chosen um, that uh, here in this um, folder i want my uh, you know flat file to be created i'll just copy this path okay and uh, let me go back to my uh, workflow manager double click this then uh, you will be getting the edit task in that just go to mapping here in mapping go to targets in target you will be having an option uh, as uh, output file directory give the path over here where you want to create the csv file then give the file name in so i'm going i'm just going to say department underscore ff dot um, txt okay so let me apply this and okay so after this just save your uh, workflow then right click just say start task once you say start task your workflow monitor will uh, appear and you can see the you know the session running once when it says succeeded we'll just go and see whether our csv or the csv file is created or not let me go to my folder where i yeah you can see that um, the department ff is created you can see the data is present but we haven't got the headers right so to get the header what you need to do is just go back to the uh, workflow manager double click then go to the same mapping then in the target uh, we have an option as uh, this header option it has no header actually by default there's no header you can select it as um, output field name or user header command output it's going to be uh, i'm going to use um, uh, out, output field names whatever was there in the informatica when we created the table we gave some names right so that is what will be fetched from the fetch from table and the same header will be given for your csv file i'll just say output field names and say okay save the file right click then again say start task so let me go and see in the workflow monitor it's running and it got succeeded so let me go back to the folder and uh, see whether our headers are also created so you can see our header the header will be in this um, ash symbol so this is just uh, to say that it's a header so we know department number dname location so these things are this header is fetched from our informatica when we created the flat file in our target designer we gave some uh, column names right from there only these um, you know um, headers will be fetched so this is how you need to um, you know uh, load the table data to a csv so hope you have understood if there are any queries then please let me know just mail me to plsql um, dot um, informatica gmail dot com and um, thank you very much for watching